Okay, so what's up guys, it's Matters, and we are again going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I'm going to go through the reveal, potentially being pushed back a couple of days, or at least until the live stream tomorrow. The live stream obviously was supposed to be today on Wednesday, but it has been pushed back to tomorrow. And I want to go through general multiplayer information as well for MW2 Remastered, because, you know, we've been talking about sort of evidence of multiplayer existing and different things that the Activision um, manager has been teasing regarding multiplayer but we haven't talked about what we should actually expect from multiplayer and really what multiplayer is going to be like in this game because I think people are almost getting the wrong expectations of what this is going to be because this is 2018 this is a new era of Call of Duty so multiplayer it's not going to be the same as MW2 and I just want to sort of talk about the best and worst case scenario for multiplayer being in this game, the different things that they would change and add and the leaks that sort of point at this different stuff. And there's also, you know, different things, you know, floating around the community about what this multiplayer, you know, is going to have. And again, we're still up in the air with this whole reveal and it is Wednesday. We still have several days left. And, you know, they could be the, the reveal. It's not supposed to be this week. There's nothing saying that it's supposed to be this week, but this week was supposed to be a very solid week to see it. So, you know, we still have Thursday, which is the live stream for Activision. And we have, you know, Friday, which is always a good day. Saturday, April Fool's, Sunday. I, I mean, who knows? But those are the days right now but let's just get into the stuff within this video so i want to go for an insane like goal the support on the videos have been just insane um if we can go for 500 likes obviously it's just so greatly appreciated really thank you guys for sticking around watching these videos and um yeah so that being said 500 likes is a like goal and let's get started so i'm gonna start off here first with the whole reveal information so obviously again i've been seeing a bunch of comments on my videos and stuff the reveal has actually been well Okay, well, the the live stream, obviously, this is an, this is a situation, we'll talk about this in a second, the live stream that we thought was going to have the reveal has been pushed to tomorrow, 4.30pm to 6pm Pacific time, but here is the thing, they're trying out Crash Bandicoot, oh man, that really sucks, and when you see something like that, just, I like to talk about logic, and I've been using logic in these videos for the past couple of videos and it's always good to look at logic and to say okay logically this is going to happen if this is the case you know now logically if they're streaming crash bandicoot they're probably not going to reveal modern warfare 2 remastered that's just logic you know it's same way the same reason why i said that if multiplayer is the main part of MW2 that everyone loves, if multiplayer is going to give Activision the most revenue possible, logically, they would include it with the game. That's logic. This is logic as well. So that's the only thing really pulling at my strings here where I'm just like, oh man, I want to say that we could still see something and I'm I'm not going to I'm going to leave it open that we could still see some sort of surprise tomorrow just cuz they're streaming Crash Bandicoot I guess doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to mention anything or they're not going to tease MW2 or they're not going to sort of announce it or talk about it or do anything because I'll leave another tweet up on screen it's going to be hilarious but um it's going to be really bad if you look at his tweets and if you look at his comments and if you look at his chat tomorrow it's all going to be filled with mw2 remastered and he he's going to be harassed tomorrow um even if he does the reveal or not the whole time if he's not saying anything if he's ignoring and stuff he's going to be harassed this um kevin manager at activision and I, I do sort of feel bad because it's not his fault and it's not his sort of say and obviously he probably knows what's going on, so I really just want them to try to get the clear and get the green light to just say something. And that's what we've been saying forever now, but it's all going to be MW2 Remastered, so they can't avoid it. So if they're doing a live stream and the whole chat's talking about that, then they cannot avoid it. They just cannot avoid it. So here's a theory as well of why they're not doing it. Someone says, um, I honestly think they were ready to announce MW2 Remastered with that multiplayer but they actually decided against it after the reaction from the community which it's an interesting take which does that mean they're gonna go back to the drawing boards and start developing multiplayer like how, how does that work i mean they're gonna announce it with campaign and then they saw the community backlash 
just from the leaks and then they were just like oh my god we can't do this now so that means they're just not going to do it at all they're going to wait till later like i don't know exactly what that means or if they're going to go back and do multiplayer which is probably going to take a couple of months if they haven't already done it or developed it at this point so that's obviously another issue as well but that being said tomorrow <sighs> In not not saying it's the last chance in which we can see anything but this live stream was supposed to be a big reveal and if it is some sort of different game that's just not you know that's not mw2 remastered it, that's just gonna suck and is that gonna is it, that pretty much means that we're probably not gonna see a reveal this week i i, I really think at this point if we don't see anything tomorrow is a very low chance that we see any reveal maybe they'll continue to tease it because i still think mw2 remastered is a real thing and i still think i still think multiplayer is very possible for this um we're just really talking about the reveal situation um and yeah if it's not tomorrow then there's a fairly low chance that we see any, any reveal throughout the rest of the week and i know people are still going to say well you have friday you have saturday that is true but really the live stream was supposed to be the reveal and if they're streaming crash bandicoot they're probably not going to talk about mw2 you know it would be really cool if they said streaming mw2 tomorrow you know and then it'd be a huge hint then we could be we'd get hyped but unfortunately that's not the case so that being said we'll just have to see what happens again i want to talk about multiplayer now so just multiplayer mw2 remastered what should we expect the problem is i've been seeing comments you know people talking about you know multiplayer they want you know just the OG stuff back they want the new tubes they want everything the way it was and I just don't think that's going to be the case and a part of the logic I've been putting into this is that if they bring back MW2 multiplayer they're going to have supply drops if they're not going to bring back multiplayer without supply drops that's just a simple fact and if you're going to have supply drops you're going to have DLC weapons and if you're going to have DLC weapons you're going to have the different emotes and you're going to have the different camos and you're going to have the different you know sort of glorified new age call of duty stuff that's a bit less you know military and it's just all like funny weird things that they have and and they're going to have you know different winter season updates and summer updates and they're going to change stuff around and they're probably going to balance the weapons every couple of months and it's just not going to be the same multiplayer and unfortunately it might sort of be the similar downfall that modern warfare remastered had where it just got too just far from the original pretty much you know it just it strayed too far from the original and people just got fed up with it and unfortunately that's probably going to be the same thing with mw2 remaster unless they find some sort of way to keep it at its roots while still adding a couple dlc weapons while still adding different stuff but generally keep it the way it was before if they find a way to do that then props to them because that would be insane and that would be sort of the optimal um game for us to have a remaster game similar to the original but also updated for the new times and updated just if they want to balance some weapons slightly that's that's cool um just just make it so it's not that much of a drastic change from the original because you know people are going to get multiplayer and if they let's just think about this here if they announce modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer we're all going to be hyped it's going to be crazy it's going to be a great day and then it actually releases and then we figure out that oh this is very far from the original and then as the months go on the updates and the dlc weapons and all the different packs it's just going to be like whoa is this even worth it and i feel like we might almost regret even wanting this to begin with because they're going to sort of ruin the nostalgia or this and that, um, which, again, I, I don't think that it's necessarily going to be the case, but I do think it's a very, you know, solid possibility that it's really not going to be as sort of great as we think it's going to be, you know? Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer would be sick. If it is a thing, it's still going to be fun, but... If Activision has anything to and look, I, I feel like I'm hating on Activision too much. You know, a part of their thing is they want to make money. I mean, you call them greedy, whatever. They're a publishing company and then they want to make money. That's just their job. Everything, everything in America is around making money. It's just the way it is. So and I think they do care about Call of Duty and they do care about the nostalgia from Modern Warfare 2. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes adding in these things to create revenue. Um, it's just gonna mess with the actual game. It's gonna mess with people's 
feelings about just playing the game and having fun it's gonna alter that stuff so I don't know man we'll see what the deal is there really at this point that's that's a bit of a stretch because we don't even have any confirmation of the game itself so we're still at the beginning we're still looking for any sort of announcement any sort of confirmation any sort of you know we've okay we've seen teases we've seen some leaks but we just need something official clearing the air and just saying that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is a thing or teasing some reveal or teasing something that will happen very soon because it's just getting way too long of just not knowing what we're going to see and not knowing what to expect and being worried and being excited. At this point, it's just getting drawn out and we just need some sort of confirmation. So hopefully we get something, something tomorrow. If not tomorrow, slim chance we get for the rest of the week. You know, we still have this April 30th release date, so... I, I guess we still have time. I mean, we're only in the last week of March, and the release date's supposed to be April 30th, so we still have a whole month ahead of us to see different reveals and announcements and stuff, so it's still all possible. It's not like this is the last chance for anything, you know? This just was a week that we thought was a hugely just, or a likely week to see some sort of reveal, but if it's not, then... That's gonna suck, and I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look to the future and see what the deal. Is. So that being said, that's the situation right now. Again, live stream tomorrow, 4:30 p.m. Pacific time. We'll see what happens. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.